Hello guys, Unknown Game here, and today's video we're going to be talking about Red Dead Online's new latest update. And if you all know, Red Dead Online hasn't really been a well, you know, I think it's a missed opportunity. It hasn't really done very well when it comes to player base numbers. But will this update bring, you know, some players back into the game? Will it bring them a sort of similar experience to GT Online's, you know, building your business empire, you know, doing, you know, robbing banks, all that crazy stuff that GT Online has. And obviously people will say in the comment section down below about it, it, they're both completely different games. I do get that, but, the, you know, when it comes to online modes, they could make it very similar to each other, even though they are in different time periods. But with this new update, will it bring players back? Will it, you know, you know, will it be interesting? Will it interest players to come into the game and play this for way more, you know, as many hours as GT Online, for example? In my honest opinion, no, it won't. Red, Un Red Dead Online is still in beta, and honestly, it's still not complete at all. It doesn't have as many things as, you know, <laughs> GT Online. And, you know, it's very hard to compete with GT Online because, you know, obviously it's in a way more different time period. And, you know, it's le you know, at a different time period, it's way more less things to add into the game. But I think they, you know, really did a missed opportunity with this because they could have added homes to buy, businesses to run, like GT, well, for example, again, GT Online. GT Online has all that type of stuff, you know, it has cargo crates, has the biker stuff, you, you know, even though a lot of people complain how grindy these can get, but to be honest, the game's already grindy as it is. But, like, maybe, you know, there's many opportunities that they could have done here, like, you know, a moonshine business, our legal the tobacco business, there's many things they could add in this game which can bring the like, GTA world up. And and with this new update, it just doesn't add any of that. It doesn't have, it doesn't really add that much to free mode events. And I'm realising that they're drip feeding the events. So that I was just really confused when I joined the game that there were no free mode events at all. And honestly, the lobbies I kept on being in were completely deserted had no players at all, only like 20 players on a big map. I feel like there's a Fallout situation going on here, but not as bad, you know, obviously, Fallout 76 is a whole other story, but you just have that feeling of just complete, what, what's the wording, like complete, like, loneliness. I mean, look, I'm, I'm, I stumbled across players. But some of them just ran, you know, rode past and just forgot, you know, just forget about me. That That's how everything is. But there's no freedom mode events. There's no interactivity in free mode. There's nothing to be interested in free mode. Free mode needs something that, you know, can maybe gather the interest of players, you know, to make bonus amounts of money, you know, once they get the, you know, build their empire or whatever, rob banks. They can invest in stuff. They can buy homes and all that stuff like GTA Online. It, it's kind of rubbish that you just can't do any of that in Red Dead. Even though, you know, I, I don't know if Rockstar's just trying to get onto this, like, you know, the one need to make it just like the story mode, but you're making your own character's story, basically. You want your character to make a big empire and all that stuff, but, you know, it, it's we, like, we, it's not like Arthur Morgan where they're being camp. So, you know, the camp system you know, can be used a lot, but it feels like you're just buying pointless skins for your camp. It, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It just feels like you're just doing this just for simple cosmetics and just not for beneficial reasons. And here's another point to make about the game. It's very grindy, all right? This is the same issue with GT Online, which Rockstar has constantly suffered from. It's just very grindy, it's, it's frustrating to basically make any profit in the game. And it could take a long time to get to a certain amount. I think this is one of the biggest reasons why a lot of people hated GTA Online. Because, you know, it's too grindy. And this is the same issue with Red Dead. Then it's just too grindy to do anything. Like, you know, GTA Online it has the same issue, but, you know, GTA Online is updated so much that you could actually make millions, you know, legitimately. But with Red Dead, it feels just the same as the old GTA Online. It, it, you just don't get paid as much, so you have to grind some missions, you have to do constant death matches over and over again. And, you know, 
I mean, look, better than mine when I, you know, started playing it when the update came out. I had like I had so much fun with those game modes, like PvP and all them. Not it, it. I mean, it, there's so much people. You know, it, I think Red Dead, honestly, in my opinion, is more of a PvP experience. You know, GTA Online is more of a free free mode experience, even though it does have PvP elements, race elements. That's just how it is, in my opinion. But the fact is that they're drip feeding modes as well, like series. And like, I was really confused when the update first came out. I was like, where is all the modes that was promised in the Rockstar Newswire that they didn't even tell us was a drip fed? Like, it feels like it feels like we're just being falsely advertised, and now that'll put plays off. I, I think honestly, and you know, the same the, the main, one of the main reasons. All right, one of the main reasons. That I think Red Dead Online will suffer is that there's nothing to do in free mode. Free mode, you know, as GTA or Red Dead or any of the Rockstar game in general, is a standard. Free mode is supposed to be fun, not grinding and not malicious. And I like story mode better because it adds, you know, unique elements to it. You can find a guy who's bitten by a snake and you, you know, either you can just leave him or suck the snake or you know you guys know what I mean. random events you know random stuff that happens in the world it's just, I don't I don't feel like I even have that in online that's what's missing it just makes it boring well except if you pay you know play any of those PvP modes but honestly guys the new update I don't think will bring massive amounts of plays to the game and I feel like Rockstar need to do something a bit more bigger than releasing modes because I'm thinking these are these are pretty much reskins. I, I I think are pretty much reskins. But honestly, these are my opinions on Red Dead Online's new update, and I don't think it will bring much of the player base back to the game. I, I, even even this one YouTube channel called GTA Series videos, I, the comment section is just said you know the game's boring. And it needs to improve with new businesses, new things to do in like the free mode area. It feels like Rockstar is solely focusing on the game modes. Focus on free mode. You need to try and make it so everyone can have fun. And just try not make it a grindy process. So yeah guys, these are my opinions on Red Dead Online. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, you know, leave a like. Leave a comment on what you think of Red Dead Online at its current moment in time. And subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you in the next video and I'll see you then.